A different challenge this time for round five as the crews head to Dublin for the ALMC Stages Rally. And with only a handful of the championship crews choosing to attend, it would be once again a good chance to score some points, despite challenging the Irish tarmac specialists on their home ground. John, it's been consistency and fantastic results so far this championship that has left you at the top of the leaderboard. Uh, yeah, uh, as we said, Damien's in the driving seat really with winning three rounds, but uh, we're not going to give up just yet. Um, uh, keep trying and uh, keep sort of trying to match his pace and uh, we'll see what happens today. You as well as some of the others have some experience now on the Irish roads. Hopefully it'll play good for you today. Yeah, hopefully. I mean, it's, uh, it's going to be quite tricky, I think. Uh, we did the recce yesterday and uh, it can draw you in a bit, really. So we're just going to have to be careful, I think, on the first loop and then try and get quicker as the day goes on, really. Johnstone is holding on to just a slight margin of a lead in the championship so far. Maybe you might be able to take that position in the championship on up a notch today we won't if he finishes as well because you need to, it's your best five scores count we've got three and he's got four so if we both finish today he'll still he'll still be in front but on drop scores we'll be winning tricky conditions lay ahead of the crews making tire choice a lottery but for damien cole it would work out well as he went into the morning loop and took an early lead Having competed over here a number of times, Simon Major had already proved himself on the Irish lanes. And this weekend would be no different, setting some very quick times on the first loop and heading to service in second place. With the car back on form after missing the last round, David Kinaston was lying third after three stages. The only problem to report being a small oil leak, but nothing to be concerned about at this point. David Hardy was taking advantage of the lack of championship crews to end his morning in fourth place. And Dave Price rounds up the top five in his rear-wheel drive escort. The morning loop claimed a number of the championship crews, first of which was John Stone, the turbo pipe coming off the Skoda Fabia and forcing him to retire in stage three. Also stopping in stage three, this time when the wheel nuts sheared off on the rear of the Metro, was Mark Jasper, not having much luck this season. Stage three also sees us lose Roger Donnan, this time however not mechanical. He ended the day with the car in a ditch at the start of the stage. Part D, type by Bryce, and one left. Type by right, one left. So Damien, content so far? Yeah, we had a steady run through stage one, uh, much better through stage two, and then stage three we had the fastest time, and I think we took eight off Barrable, so we're, we're only four behind him now for the lead. Yeah, and the stages are pretty dry out there, are they patchy in places at all? Uh, patchy, they're quite slippery. Stage three is the driest one, but the other two are quite slippery. The middle loop of the day is a rerun of the same three stages, and the conditions were no better. For Damien Cole, it would be a difficult loop, making the wrong tyre choice and struggling with the wet stages. He still, however, manages to hold on to his lead. Simon Major, no fan of the wet conditions in his Mark II Escort, no matter what tyres he put on the car, was always going to struggle to put down 300 brake horsepower in the wet. He finished the second loop in second place. With the small oil leak not appearing to slow him down, David Kinaston remained in third place after stage six. David Hardy was still going well, a new remapped engine since the Jim Clark giving more power. Meanwhile, Dave Price continued to slide his way to fifth place. Yeah, we seem to be struggling on the first stage of the loop every time. We're not uh, having very quick times through there, but stages two, we were fastest on stage five. And then Michael took four out of us again on stage six. So the gap's 18 seconds now, which I think will be too much to catch him. But we're in the maximum points position in the MSA Championship. So that was what we, uh, we came over to do, so that's fine. And luckily, really, the wet conditions haven't caught you out too badly yet. No, nearly a, a couple of times, but uh, it's OK at the moment. The final loop of stages now, and once again we see retirement for third place David Kinaston in the Audi. 
the car suffering a small engine fire at the end of stage eight. It would seem the small oil leak earlier in the day was in fact a warning sign of things to come. This means that a last minute jump for Chris Rice sees him take the fifth spot. Dave Price netted himself a good result to take home fourth place. And David Hardy made the most of Canaston's retirement to take the final step of the podium. Simon Major missed out again on the win settling for second place despite a stunning performance. And a fourth win in a row for Damian Cole and Craig Drew puts them one step closer to the championship title for 2010. Congratulations, Damien, a welcomed win for you, and that risky tire choice certainly paid off in the end. Yeah, when we went out on the last loop, it was bone dry everywhere. We took uh, quite a big chunk out of Michael Barable on the first two. We had a bit of a scare on the last one because the throttle had started playing up, and the car cut out in the middle of the last stage. So we coasted, nearly coasted to a halt, turned the master switch off and back on, and it, it worked, and we had throttle, and we managed to get to the end. Congratulations again, and four wins in a row. I've done a lot for the confidence, I'd say. Yeah, it's great. Four, four maximums in a row, we've won three of the rallies outright, which is good as well. We're not just picking up the points, we're winning the rallies. This is how the championship stands after round five. Round six of the championship headed to Otterburn for the Tyneside stages. But unfortunately, due to military restrictions, our cameras were not permitted to film at this round. But the result does affect the championship standings considerably. Simon Major finally records his first National Rally win, realising his ambition for the season. Finishing just eight seconds ahead of John Stone in second. So after a fascinating string of results and drama right through the field, this is where the championship stands after round six. The championship next heads to the Mueller Rally, and if Damien Cole can make it five wins, he will take the 2010 Asphalt Championship title with five maximum scores. However, to finish first, you first have to finish. And with two drivers still at the top of the championship points fighting just as hard, it really isn't over yet for the 2010 MSA Asphalt Rally Championship.